let's talk about artificial intelligence on cruise ships. I've recently done some work with some of the big cruise ship operators so um, and I, I thought I'd share some of the ways they are now using artificial intelligence and technology to improve how they run their ships um, and how they actually offer a better customer experience. So one, one of those companies is Carnival Cruises and what they basically, their vis vision is to create these smart cities on the sea. And the, they have one ship uh, that has about 19 decks, so huge ships, uh, 1,100 foot long, massive ocean liners. And what they want to do is to, to bring in some of the technology. So they put about uh, 1,700 sensors across the board. And then they created a little wearable device called the Ocean Medallion. So this is like a, a, a quarter size wearable device that you take with you and this helps you to open your, your, your room so if you want to go to your stateroom you open it um, but it also has so much more intelligence that it is generating so that if you carry the wearable device with you and you check for example into your, the restaurant it will then check your reservation but it will also contain information like whether you have any allergies what your wine and food preferences are so again you don't have to repeat any of this it's just the intelligence is being stored within the device and it gives it gives um, um, the company real insight into where people are how long the queues are where where too many people are, are gathering and so on Another uh, cruise ship company is uh, the Royal Caribbean and what they have introduced into their ships is facial recognition technology. So they didn't want people to have wearables to carry around, they said we want to use face recognition. So basically when you um, initially book your cruise you submit some documents and some ID and they will then use this to recognize you and to check you in. So their idea was to basically reduce the time it takes because when it's not like in a hotel where people turn up in, in staggered groups, in a cruise ship everyone turns up at the same time and they wanted to make this process really easy and they thought face recognition would be a great way of doing, doing this. And their ambition was to basically go from car to your room or to car from car to bar, I think they call this, in 10 minutes. So you basically park your car, you walk up into the cruise ship, face recognition will recognize you, you're checking in and everything is verified. You can then go into your room, dump your clothes and then go and start your holiday. And basically the, what some of their research was showing is that customers were quite often losing the first day of their holiday, just going through lots of the administrative uh, aspects of, of starting a cruise and this is now all uh, completely eliminated. The other thing that they are now using is very similar to the Ocean Medallion. They are now using face recognition in their restaurants. One of the things they did is they um, retrofitted some of their CCTV cameras that they had all across their ships with some intelligence. So the cameras are still recording simply the images, but then there's some technology and artificial intelligence that now makes those images intelligent. So it, it collects those images, understands what's on them. And this is now again helping them with table turnovers, understanding this is helping them to understand queuing time at times at buffets and so on. So there's lots of this um, technology and, and again instead of completely installing new tech, they're simply using existing CCTV cameras and simply using artificial intelligence and machine learning to understand what is going on, understanding pattern recognition and facial intelligence. So there are some, some great examples. There are so many more uh, around cruise ships. They're, they were they're also uh, looking at I, using AI now to optimize how much food they're ordering, how much food they're taking on board. Again, understanding who is on board, what they're, what they're eating, um, looking at former eating patterns and consumption patterns. So, Cruise ships are a great example. If you head to my website, I've recently written two um, articles, both on Carnival Cruises and the Royal Caribbean, and you can dive into them in a bit more detail. If you would like to learn more, 
head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.